We started Harvester Gigantics because actually the pilot that does our aerial application said that he was not willing to fly that field anymore and so I thought well what a perfect chance to roll it into uh, organic production and since that was in 2007 or 8 and all of a sudden we had a whole bunch of organic grain that we needed to do something with so a baker at the Moscow co-op said he could really use our organic hard red spring wheat and so we started with a little tiny flour mill that you would get as like a KitchenAid or something and we were making 50 pound bags with this little tiny mill and we've so, since then gone through several different other kinds of mill and finally we ended up with a large scale uh, Danish mill. It's really interesting. Uh, we, could, we could sell every acre we had if we grew organics in it because there's such a high demand. Currently we offer three NAN products and it would be certified organic, dark northern spring wheat or hard red spring, uh, rolled oats, and also um, sustainably farmed soft durum wheat, which we use for the flatbreads and, and pizza crusts. I grew up on the farm, uh, went to college, came back. So I've been farming for a lot of years. Actually, this will be my, I think, 50 something harvest. We do the organics mainly so we don't have to put any chemicals, uh, commercial fertilizers on the property. And so people, when they get our product, not only does it say certified organic farm, they know where it comes from. It's, uh, you know, it's identity driven. So somebody buys our package, especially here locally, they know, oh yeah, I know where that's from. That's the field. They don't put any pesticides or fertilizers on that. And I think it gives them a better feeling for our products.